All right, guys, so we got to talk about the Oscars, the Hollywood elite, and how foolish they make themselves look. So the other night was the Oscars, and of course, just like every year's Oscars, is basically bashing Trump, whining about women and minorities and climate change and give to the poor. And actually, this time around, they had some director woman up there quoting Karl Marx, which I mean is <laughs> great for the, the liberal leader up there and then you have these Hollywood liberals and elites who nonstop complain about poverty, climate change, helping the poor, and then, then they go and buy $250,000 purses. They adopt one African-American kid from Africa, and then they think they're so progressive and non-racist. And then, you know, a big like third of the entire Oscars is basically bashing on Trump. Orange man bad, how evil Trump is and so on and so forth and this is why the oscars the nominees the grammys whatever you want to whatever show it is they are failing and dropping in the ratings i think this year's oscars dropped another 20 percent of the previous year some of them are reaching all-time lows and there's a reason for that actually it's twofold and the first reason is obviously because the younger generations like myself and gen z and a lot of the um gen xers and and some of even the boomers who are abandoning TV, television, the cable TV, and going online, get, getting on demand, going to Netflix, going to YouTube, going for to these sites for their entertainment purposes. And number two is that these Oscars, the Grammys, whatever, they're shilling, liberal, toxic swamps and nobody wants to watch that nobody wants to sit there and be lectured about how evil the president of the united states is when this event has nothing to do with politics at all they're nominating actresses and actors and directors and best man and best graphic whatever but these Hollywood elites, these liberal hypocrites, use this time to bash on Trump because they suffer so badly from Trump derangement syndrome that they use this little bit of time that they have, which they should be thanking their directors and their staff and the opportunity. No, screw all that. They're going to take these five minutes and just bash on Trump, talk about climate change when wearing a $5,000, $10,000 dress or suit, and urging all the people at home watching, you should be donating to charities. You should be doing something about climate change. And this is the hypocrisy of the left and a lot of liberal elites. They want everybody else to donate, to do something about something that it is the job of the little people to try to change climate change to defeat the orange man bad while these Hollywood elites hide up in their mansions and just shame the rest of us who don't do anything. Anything that they want to see happen. And it's truly something that aggravated me for such a long time now that these Hollywood elites sit up on their mansions, on their yachts, drinking their thousand dollar bottle wines while looking down on us saying, well, how come climate change hasn't been fixed? How come you haven't adopted an African-American kid today? How come you haven't donated any money today? It's like, do they not realize that 70 something percent of Americans live paycheck to paycheck and don't really have tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of dollars to give away to charity, which of course is a good tax uh, reduction if those of you who are interested. But no, this, th this just really shows just how out of touch a lot of these people are out of you know that they 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 have been rich and famous for so long that they had forgotten what it's like to not be rich and famous now there's nothing wrong with being rich and out of touch and famous you know if you made it in life all the more power to you but if you're out of touch then maybe you shouldn't be talking about politics or social issues that you don't have anything and any knowledge about and are these policies that are you that that you are pushing forward don't affect you at all because a lot of these hollywood elites are you guessed it socialistic a lot of them believe in sharing the wealth just not their wealth of course a lot of these Hollywood elites 
want a Bernie Sanders or a AOC or all of these other social policies and programs that they don't benefit from, that they don't have to pay taxes on. They want all of these inner, inner city changes, which again, these Hollywood elites don't live in the inner cities. These Hollywood elites have nothing to do with the, the peasants of the world. Some of these Hollywood elites are so egotistical that if, if they find out you make less than $100,000 a year, that they don't even want to shake your hand. They're, they're disgusted. Again, more power to you if you make that sort of money, but be humble, you know? And then what I find funny is that um, I think it was Brie Larson, Gal Gadot, and somebody else was on stage, and they were all like, uh, all, all women are superheroes. And I find that funny because... It's like, well, well, what about the single mother who's an alcoholic who allows her boyfriend to beat their kids? I mean, is that mom a superhero? Is the mother who gives up her kids up for adoption because she wants to do drugs all day, is that mom a superhero? I mean, yeah, mothers and fathers are very important, but just because a woman is a woman and just because that woman so happens to be a mother doesn't mean she's the most best human being in the world. Same goes as with fathers as well. Now, of course, that, that's not to say that the entire Oscars is a sham. There were, I, I would assume, I didn't watch it, I just assume, that there were good performances and people who actually deserve the nominations and the awards and so on and so forth. But when your show has devolved or has the reputation of bashing the current president of the United States, quoting and boasting up uh, Karl Marx and communism as it's a good thing, talking about issues like climate change, which none of you have any idea what the hell you're talking about. And besides, movies nowadays, I mean, there have been some good movies uh, over the last year that I've enjoyed that are new, but, but it's very slim to none. It, it's a very small percentage of new movies that I like versus older movies that I like. And I think that has to do with all of this wokeness in Hollywood, all of these social issues and political stances in movies, and n nobody wants to see this crap. People want to watch movies uh, for an escape. People want to watch movies so they can escape their life and go into a fantasy world and enjoy themselves for that hour or two. They don't want to have to be preached about, about how evil men are, uh, patriarchal, or how, I think it was in the new Birds of Prey movie that uh, Harley Quinn had voted for Bernie Sanders in the comic or whatever. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. It's like this new comic book, uh, I think it was back in 2017, I think. It, it was this comic book about Superman that he was fighting uh, against white nationalists and he was fighting for Black Lives Matter and stuff like that. I mean, it's cringe. It's absolutely, it's, it's a cringe fest. And this is something that Hollywood elites uh, need to understand desperately. Nobody cares about your opinions on anything. If Hugh Jackman told me to vote Democrat in 2020, I would laugh him off and say no. I like you in the Wolverine movies, but I'm not going to take your political stance or agree with you because you're a celebrity. And this is something that's very faulty in all cultures, that we, a lot of Americans idolize these celebrities and stuff like that, and they really shouldn't be. Because again, a lot of these people are out of touch, they don't know what they're talking about, and political-wise, they don't, they they really don't know what they're talking about at that point. And I would like to venture to guess that a lot of people in Hollywood are not anti-Trump. It's just the culture of Hollywood that is prim uh, primarily anti-Trump. So if you want to get a job, if you want to get a movie role, a commercial or TV, something like that, TV show, you're going to have to go with the flow. This was one of the main reasons why uh, or what Weinstein got away with all the things he did was because nobody wanted to say anything. Because people wanted movie opportunities and jobs and shows and they wanted the, the rich and famous life and they were willing to do whatever it takes. And this is, again, the problem with Hollywood. The Hollywood elite and the Hollywood culture is anti-Trump. I would venture to say that most people, are, I mean, not most, not, not the majority, but a, a tiny minority are not actually anti-Trump. They only pretend to hate Trump in order to get, you know, the more followers, the movie roles, 
to get work done in Hollywood, and this is probably what they have to do, besides other despicable things that I'm sure a lot more people have happened to them than is actually reported. And, and, it, and it hasn't stopped after Weinstein, I guarantee you that. But either way, you know, don't listen to these people. You, you, you can enjoy their movies. You, you can enjoy their TV shows, their comedies, whatever they are. But uh, don't take them seriously when they talk about climate change or the political sense. Because half the time, they, they just might not even believe their own crap they're saying. They're just saying it to make friends and get movie roles and stuff. Which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. But either way, you guys go ahead and let me know what you thought about this video in the comment section below. And that's about it for this one. Peace out, guys.